What are your core beliefs about pursuing a writing career? That's like huge. Um, that is, and what I mean by huge is like, there, there's so many things there. Um, the, 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 the main thing is, um, for me, is you just have to be um, committed and you have to have passion um, as, a, as a writer, um, regardless of what genre of writer, writing you're working on. Um, I think that first and foremost, that you have to consider yourself a writer, not a screenwriter, but rather a writer. That's just me. Some people might say um, otherwise, but you really have to consider yourself a writer because if you don't understand how, how, how to take writing out of the, re the arena of solely just um, crafting um, spec scripts, um, pilots for TV, and, um, and feature screenplays, you're never going to really develop um, some innovative skills at actually doing those things that catch people's you know, attention. So I think that's very important. So that all falls under the ballpark of commitment and passion. Um, so that means that you basically, you, you, you need, your, your friend is a, is like, um, is a cup of coffee and your, your, your seat in front of that, you know, that computer screen. Those are your friends and you better get comfortable with them, you know, um, because <laughs> you're going to need them, <laughs> you know, you have to, you have to spend the time, um, to, to learn to do, um, what you want to do. And also, this is the other thing, you know, um, it's an excavation. Um, and it's not an excavation of the, of the work that's in front of you per se, although it can be. It's an excavation of yourself because you start to realize who you are as a writer. You start to realize that like, let's say like, you know, we're using a, a baseball um, uh, analogy. You throw a mean curveball, you know, you start to, and you go, oh, wait, wait, I throw a mean curveball. You know, it's like, um, well, let me, let me work on that a little bit, you know, sort of thing. So um, that, that's what you start to learn about yourself. But first, you, you, might, you might, you know, just think you're just a good shortstop, <laughs> you know, when you begin, you know, before you discover your own peculiar talents. When was that clear to you? Uh, that's an interesting uh, question. And um, that's going to be fun to talk about. Um, when that was clear to me was um, I, I, um, I, when I started writing in general, I wrote a lot of poetry and I enjoyed writing poetry and um, the craft of writing poetry. And so I thought that maybe it would be easy to use what I know from, from poetry writing uh, to, to develop um, um, writing screenplays. I, 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 I wrote my first screenplay and I had the great fortune to, to meet and for a, sh a short period of time um, received some mentorship from, from a guy who, um, who, who took a little bit of interest in me, um, a, a director um, from old school, from old school Hollywood um, um, named Ted Post. And he was very, very gracious and generous to, um, to offer to read my first screenplay. And he read it and he got back in touch with me. And he said to me, he goes, Christian, you know, I got to tell you, you know, it's like, I think you got some talent. I think you know how to write some dialogue, but you have no idea how to tell a story. 
And it's like, and I'm like, oh wow, okay. <laughs> well, well, gee, well, tell me what's really been you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, and, uh, but thanks, you know. And he's like, I want you to go out and I want you to buy this book. And um, I, I, I bought this book uh, called The Art of Dramatic Writing. The most important book I. One of the most important books, I should say, that I've um, read in terms of my writing. Um, definitely the, um, the book that helped set me off on, on the journey um, by Lalos Egri. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And, um, and um, the book is, um, is not so much about... Um, writing for the movies as it is the the classical elements of telling story as it relates to um, to the plays of Ibsen, Shakespeare, um, even um, a, a, a few more modern plays of of the of the early um, the early um, 20th century um, such as O'Neill's um, plays and whatnot and that really started to break down for me what I understood to be um, structure. But even then, I was still a bit flummoxed on how to find a, a way to have a confidence when I would attack a screenplay. Because I was like, okay, there's this over here, and um, I have, I think I have a good idea of of, of, of voicing characters and, and writing, you know, interesting dialogue, but I'm not so sure how to marry the two. So I had written one script, and, um, and some people were responding to it um, pretty well, in almost like a lukewarm fashion, but they were like, oh, it's you know, it's, it's got a middle, a beginning, a middle, and an ending. And I, um, I stumbled across um, um, a copy of Shane Black's The Long Kiss Goodnight. And I noticed specifically how Shane wrote his screenplays. Um, these um, terse little bursts. Of uh, of word formations um, to to convey the atmosphere of um, of the of the action lines and the descriptions of each scene. Um, just it was just so exciting to read that and to and how kinetic it was and how how he sort of just kind of like broke rules certain rules not like not broke rules just to break rules, but just broke certain rules so that he could he can meet certain um, um, objectives um, in a very targeted fashion. And I thought to myself, well, like I I can do that. That's not I can I I see what he's doing. I see the architecture underneath it. And I can I can definitely do that. And furthermore, I found it very it relate a great deal to to um, what it was like to writing poetry because poetry is often very um, 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 elastic with 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 language and with words. And 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 Shane's work was very elastic. So um, with with words and sentences and the grammar was, he had paid no attention to grammar, really. Um, it was just all about getting you to understand the scene. And so um, I, I took that on and I rewrote that, that, that screenplay that I had and then boom, lots of people were all, loved that script. Um, and in fact, um, uh, it, 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 it secured me a finalist position with um, Tribeca All Access oh. um, soon after that. And that's when I knew I was on to something. That's when I realized, like, hey, I can do this now. I, 
I know what to do. I have, I have all my, I, I have all all the paints in my, um, in, in, in my box of paints. So yeah.